Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about the brand new move, Terra Blast, and what potentially of an impact it could have on the competitive scene in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet once those games drop. So Terra Blast is pretty much, in the simplest form, just hidden power on steroids. But Terra Blast is a normal type attack inflicting damage using either the special type or the physical attack of a Pokemon, depending on which one is higher. Now, this normal type attack will Will change into a certain type depending when a Pokemon terraforms or terrestrializes and depending on what the terraform will be so if a Pokemon terrestrializes into a fire type then Terra Blast will turn from a normal type into a fire type attack and depending on which attack stat is higher between its physical attack or its special attack then that will depend on what type of attack Terra Blast will be on top of this when a Pokemon does use the terrestrialization, it does change its type, obviously, and it gains a boost to those same type attacking moves. So again, if a Pokemon terrestrializes into a fire type, it's gonna get an additional boost onto any fire type attack. So at the moment, we're looking at it pretty much as the same as stab so same type attack bonus which is about 1.2 this could change nothing's been confirmed and until the games are actually released or until we get a bit more information in a data mine etc this will be still up in the air so it's a little different from hidden power in general where hidden power didn't really get much chance to get that same type attack bonus because you were kind of using it as a coverage move whereas terror blast is always going to be getting that same type attack bonus every time you use it when you terrestrialize with one of your Pokemon. The other thing is we don't have any confirmation right now on the base power of this attack. Now that leaves a lot of things up to debate but for this video's purposes we're going to assume that it's going to be either around 60 base power or 80 base power. That feels a safe space for us to kind of work on in regards to this new move. So how is it going to be impactful in the new format? So if we take something like Rotom Wash which has a fire terror type and it uses that terrestrialization and then it becomes that fire type once it's transformed and uses Terra Blast, which is coming off a base 60 at the moment, base power attack. This Rotom is gonna have a no special attack investment. It's not gonna have a boosting nature at all. Uh, it's just gonna be a flat out standard Rotom, just 31 IVs and it's Terra Blast is gonna come off its special attack, which is naturally its higher attacking stat anyway. It will be a special type Terra Blast fire attack. With that 1.2 stab boost or the Terra boost that you're gonna get once you've trust Realized. If that Rotom uses Terra Blast into an Abomasnow, just your standard 4 HP Abomasnow, this is to show you how impactful this move can be. Abomasnow is four times weak to fire type attacks, but with no investment on the Rotom, no boosting nature, Terra Blast at 60 base power is still picking up a one hit KO against Abomasnow. That's with no boosts, no investment, no anything. So the power is quite strong. So just imagine stacking this power with something like a life orb, an expert belt, or a choice specs item, which you can do because the terrestrialization mechanic doesn't require you to hold an item this move can become even stronger. Now this is a pretty basic example, but imagine if the base power of Terra Blast isn't 60 base power and it's actually 80 base power, which is totally possible. Now if we take the same Rotom as we did last time, but this time we actually give it 252 EV investment in special attack, we give it a boosting nature, we give it a modest nature, and then we give it the choice specs item to hold on top of that, and we do the Terra Blast attack at 80 base power, and attack into your standard Amoongus. Now Amoongus is one of the more bulky grass types that you're gonna get in the format, so it generally never really gets picked off, knocked out in one hit anyway. Well, if we take this Rotom like we've just explained and use Terra Blast once we've terrestrialized and it hits into this Amoongus, which has a sassy nature, nearly max investment in HP EVs and a good chunk in special defense EVs and a special defensive boosting nature as well, sassy nature, the Terra Blast at 80 base power is going to be doing between 80 and 90 percent damage to this Amoongus which is just nuts. You think you get a little bit of chip onto your Amoongus and then you terrestrialize with your Rotom and then you can just remove it from the field. That is pretty insane and that is showing you the power difference between 60 base power and that 80 base power what you can potentially achieve with this new move Terra Blast which is so flexible on any Pokemon that you put it on. 
I really do think the creep in power here shows you how impactful this move potentially will be in the new competitive format. The other thing to think about as well is it is, if it is an 80 base power attack, which I really don't think it will be. I think it will be a 60 base attack power move. But if it's 80 base attack power, just think how beneficial it will be for just normal types because it is a normal type move anyway. So they're normally going to have a normal type move to play off their, you know, same type attack bonus and they don't necessarily need to take up an additional slot to fit Terra Blast onto their set anyway because they've already got this normal type attack that's high base power, 100% accurate more than likely that they're going to be able to use and then it frees up another slot for them and then when they terrestrialize anyway they're going to have a move to play with with this new typing that they've got as well so normal types I feel are really going to benefit from this specific move and the terrestrialization mechanic as well on top of that and these are just a couple of examples of Terra Blast and obviously like I've said this is all context this is just my opinion on what we can expect from this move but it's good to start thinking about this now with the games dropping in just over a month's time it's a good time to start thinking about things and how they're going to play in the competitive scene and this is what we're doing now and it's all about giving your opinions talking about it and getting an idea of how things are going to work so you can get your head around it when they do drop but that's my opinions I'd love to hear your opinions on this subject in particular what you think the base power will be how impactful do you think it'll be and do you think it might be a little bit too overpowered or do you think it's quite balanced I personally think it's quite balanced although the, the move is changing type you are going to get drawbacks with that when you change into a new type of course you're going to obtain new weaknesses and you know new resistance and things like that so it's not all just one-sided everything's good there are drawbacks with it and I feel like it will be quite a balanced mechanic that could change of course but let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and if you found this video useful make sure you check this video out right here which goes into detail about another brand new move and how impactful it could be in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and that is Shed Tail you're definitely not gonna want to miss this one so click here right now and it will take you over and we'll discuss how even more impactful this potentially could be in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Thanks for tuning in friends, have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in another video very soon.